Big firms tackling big cases plow a lot of money into discovery. They consign first-year associates to long hours doing document review. They use technology to speed up the process. But what if you work for a small firm or you're a solo practitioner? What if your damages don't reach into six figures or even the high five figures? How can you hone an approach to discovery that both serves your client and allows you to stay in the black? Hello, I'm Jeff Brown, legal writer with the State Bar of Wisconsin. I'm here today with Kevin Palmersheim, who will be co-presenting the opening plenary at the 2024 State Bar of Wisconsin Solo and Small Firm Conference on October 17 at the Kalahari Resort in Wisconsin Dells. His plenary is titled Litigation ABCs, D is for Discovery, and Don't Distress. <laughs> Welcome, Kevin. Thanks for being here today. Thank you, Jeff. Can you give us just a quick preview of the plenary presentation? Yeah, I, I think it's going to be a, a kind of a two-pronged approach. Um, one, one, it's it's going to be aimed at, a, obviously, solos and small firms having to deal with the discovery matters. And I think your introduction hit it on the head is a lot of the times we get involved in cases where big firms are on the other side and they can throw so many resources at this and, in fact, use discovery as a profit center, whereas we mm -hmm. at small firms... Um, you know, are trying to get our clients through the process, through the, the pretrial procedures, so, you know, we can get them to trial or, or get a settlement or get them justice. And we have to look at it, the efficiencies a lot more uh, uh, closely, I think, than, than larger firms. So um, I mentioned, you know, doc review, and I kind of should have said doc review in the dark ages in, in my intro because of my vintage and your vintage where, you know, I can remember entire days spent in a windowless conference room poring over papers pulled from the stacks that surrounded us on the tables looking for, for certain keywords. And some of that later on didn't happen on a screen, but it was still basically human eyes looking for certain search terms in, in voluminous documents or voluminous PDFs. Does uh, technology hold the promise to be sort of a, to sort of level the playing field when it comes to small and solo and small firms versus larger firms? Technology, you know, is available, I think, to help the, the smaller firm, and, and you need to, to consider that when you've got cases that justify, uh, um, you know, investing in some, some discovery software or online assistance, because otherwise you can't, you can't address the discovery issues. Jeff, Jeff, you hit it on the head. I, I can also remember where you might have six bankers boxes, and that's the entire documents you had in an entire case. And, and now, even in you know what I would consider not huge cases, we'll have tens of thousands of electronic documents, emails primarily, sometimes hundreds of thousands. And there's just no human way you can keep track of that. So, and this makes sense when you think about it, right? The digitization of our world, of our headspace, of everything we do has led to, it sounds like a geometric proliferation of the amount of material you need to sort through in, your, in a typical discovery scenario. Yeah, absolutely. You know, think about, you know, just on a daily basis, you send out an email, might be to a group, somebody replies, you reply to that. So you've got a string, but each one of those is a separate document that, that ends up needing to be produced in discovery. And, and it just becomes a logistical nightmare. Well, and I can remember when it was on the screen and it was a PDF reading through those chains and you, you've got the little, you know, dozen or two dozen search terms that you're looking for. And after you go through that same chain three or four times, looking at three or four different recipients version of it, your eyes just start to glaze over. And even if you're looking for something like the word unicorn, you, know, <laughs> you, know, you might miss it. And, and uh, AI and computers don't have eyes that glaze over, thankfully. So, yes, exactly. Is it affordable? I mean, um, the technology we're talking about, I, for instance, this video software that we're using, it's $200 a year. That doesn't matter whether you're Jeff Brown Esquire, the State Bar of Wisconsin, or, um, you know, one of the big firms in New York or, or DC. That's a different product. It's a different industry. They're obviously mm -hmm. going on a volume model. But is there pricing like that that brings these sort of technologies in reach for solos and small firms? It's, it's definitely more affordable than, uh, than you know, the, what the big firms use. So, for example, we use it's kind of a, a, an online platform that we use and it's per file, per client mm -hmm. file. So we do pay. We only pay if we use it. So, in other words, we don't have to pay 5000 a year, 10000 a year just for our software plus an ongoing support. If we use it for a particular file, there's a monthly charge per client that, that we use that for. 
Um, and it is, it is necessary because you know, this software does searches for you. Uh, it organizes the documents for you. So like we, you and I were talking about emails, it'll tell you if there's an email that's just repetitive. It'll tell you that if, if you have 100,000 documents, it'll tell you that there's 500 of them that are duplicates. Uh, and that's what, really what we, we need. And it helps make it more affordable because otherwise it's just you and I looking through each document. Right, right. I have to ask, what's the distress in the title of your presentation referred to? Is that a term of art or, or what is distress? No, it's a couple things. So, uh, you know, a lot of times we get asked by clients to, to help them out. And, uh, you, know, we, you know, we do litigation here, but there are some s small firms and solos that uh, we'll call do a little more litigation light where they'll, uh, you know, try to help clients. They'll, you know, file or defend on cases. But if things get too complex, they're just it's just not something that they're comfortable doing, that they want to do, or have the resources to take to trial. But yet, you know, the discovery process is, you know, it's a fairly long process um, and it's, it can be complicated and it's, it's stressful for attorneys because they're trying to do a good job for the clients, but they don't even know, you know, how to deal with these 700 uh, document requests that they're getting in that come up with 10,000 pages. So that's, I think that's the distress that solos and small firms deal with, particularly when they don't deal with, you know, the, that type of case every year. Right. I can remember, you know, going to law school, getting the general education, you know, having having the stuff put into my brain and my brain molded to, to get me past the bar exam, which is generally the purpose of law school. Right. And then, uh, you know, learning about discovery and in in, in that process and then getting out in, in the working world and seeing some of it, you know, having sat through some doc reviews and, and being distressed just that this thing existed because, you know, not coming from a family of lawyers and knowing just what I'd seen on Law and Order, they never show you that part on TV right. or in the movies because it's so it's it's drudgery, right? Yeah. Yeah. You, you, yeah. You never you, you never see the shows, you know, that, uh, you know, CSI Discovery Unit. There you know, there's nothing exciting about that, uh, you know, law and order uh, uh, depositions. <laughs> That would be like a four-hour Ingemar Bergman film, which would only appear to, it would only appeal to uh, you know uh, certain auteurs, shall we say? Right. Well, great talking with you today, Kevin. Thanks again. Again, the State Bar of Wisconsin Solo and Small Firm Conference is scheduled for October seventeen to nineteen at the Kalihara Resort in Wisconsin Dells. You can register for the conference in a link below in the video summary. Uh, strongly encourage you to look into it. There's great content like the plenary that Kevin and I have been discussing, and it's just a great hang, as they say in the music business. So hope to see you in Wisconsin Dells. Kevin, thanks again for the time. Thank you, Jeff.